You can also... <laughs> I don't know why I'm instructing you on how to make explosions or fire. Well, I guess... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Two of them! Two of them! What? Speaking of explosions... What? Okay, uh, this way? Here, kill him, kill him, kill him. Man, I do that a lot. I, I noticed that I actually... I'll repeat the same word over and over again whenever I'm stressed. Alright, so they're there. Alright, I would like to lead this guy over here. It looks like this floor is just... Just bulborbs or dwarf red bulborbs. And... Okay, he's here. None fell. Good. I'll just make my way across this... This lip here. Oh, they're together! Why are they together? Alright, one either despawned or left. So I'll take him out. Oh, he's over there! Come on! Oh, the carnage! The carnage! The carnage! The carnage! No! Don't fight! Oh, this is bad. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. This is so bad. Take him out, take him out, take him out. I say three words over and over a lot. All right, I have 95. How I escaped with that, that, that many left, I'll never know. That was not a good place to be. All right, all right, well, who did I lose? Three, no, a couple purples, uh, and a couple whites, but otherwise I'm fine. All right, that was not something I want to repeat. Let's take out the small, the weaker guy first. All right, their backs are to us. Okay, stun them both. There, one's down. We lost a red, but that's that's manageable. Shoot, there you go. And he's down. All right, that was much better with a, a much more manageable group. Okay, take these guys back to base quickly. Whew, that was that was stressful. But how do you make napalm? <laughs> back to what else? Back to constructive things. Uh, you can actually just make napalm with gasoline and styrofoam. You mix them together, and you're done. That's it. Now go make it. <laughs> Try it on your friends! It's great. It's a team building exercise. You you put it on your friend. This is terrible. Who am who am I? And you see how you can figure out how to put it out. Together. Cause you can't. You can't put it out. Okay. I'm a horrible person, but why did it spawn those guys right on me? That was dumb. You are behind a corner. Where am I supposed to go? Where, where, I want the gold. Give me the gold. Where is the gold? Not here. Uh, let's check this out, though. Maybe there's an egg. Or just weird dead ends for no reason, I guess. Hiding places from the carnage. This is, this is one of those weird floors. This is one I expect to see in a challenge mode. Because there are just, how many of these dwarf bulbs are there? This is insane. There are just a ton of dwarf bulborbs and a gatling growing. It's like they were running out of ideas, and they said, What enemies would be great together? Um, bull bears and gatling groinks? Um, no, that sounds kind of easy, actually. Um, jelly floats and mammutas? Uh, that sounds kind of cool. What do we want? Dwarf bulborbs and, uh, and gatling groinks? Oh, you, sir, are a genius. Hire this man. Here, kill everything, please. Thank you. Oh, you're still alive. Well, now you're not. It's hard to tell with these guys whether or not they're alive or not. Or not. They don't move much, and when they're dead, they don't look that much different. Okay, that that guy's certainly dead. Come here. All right. So what are we doing? Where's Where's the gold? I mean, I was joking about it earlier, but seriously, where? Where is it? I've been everywhere at this point. 
I guess I haven't been over there because there's still some some guys moving. Uh, nothing over here. I should take out that egg. Is there something over there? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Let's take these guys out. Oh boy. Once once you get one of them, you get them all. Come on. Die. Kill him too. Kill him too. Man, these guys are easy, but you really have to stay on top of which one you should focus. Or else they'll eat something. Kill him too. And him as well. Oh, white Pikmin needs help. White Pikmin in trouble. We help out. We help out our brothers. Yeah, kill him. Kill him so the... The whites can survive. <laughs> it's just a slaughter. It's an actual war going on right now. <laughs> Between Pikmin and Bulborbs. And then Bulbmen be like, what, what side do we take? It's Captain America Civil War all over again. You really want to cheer for Tony Stark? Because... It, ooh, licorice, cool. Because it's Tony Stark, but also you don't, you, you don't like what he's doing. And I'm getting on to movies now. Which really shows that I'm at the end of my rope after those Gatling Groinks. But is this the only treasure? Did we defeat everything for this? Just this. Just this. As two white Pikmin stare into our souls from the background. What? <laughs> and a red Pikmin does weird things. Fruit guard. And that is it. Why? Alright, well, I'll go... I'll knock this out because it's interesting. Oh, I'll knock both of them out. Okay. Take this out. Just a just a nectar. Actually, I'm I'm kind of want the nectar. After that that sub level with all the blowhogs or not the blowhogs the puff thing. I I don't. There are there are blowhogs, aren't they? They're the withering blowhog, right? Yeah, they're blow, they're blowhogs. After all of them, I am feeling all oh, licorice. Lecrash! I miss him. He was a great horse. Well, neat. I've gotten two Ultra Bitter Sprays, which is great because I, I think the next floor is the last one. I mean, I could be mistaken, but I'm fairly certain it's the last one. Alright, so I got that. I, You know what? I'm just going to cut ahead. I'm just not doing anything at this point. Alright, I flowered all of my Pikmin. Didn't find anything else of any note. And we're heading into the last sub-level, I think. <laughs> oh, that white Pikmin looked over his shoulder right at the screen as we fell in. Sub-level 9, Cannon of Chaos. Is, oh, it's not the last sub-level. Oh, I, I already see the theme of this area, and I'm not... I'm not impressed. Although, actually, it's it's fairly small, so I guess it's okay. No, you're not going to do that. You're going to die. So, this, mu <laughs> this music is weird. The theme is flying enemies, I guess? And flying enemies and toys and baby things. Because there's a, a thing, a lid to a, a baby jar. Also, it jiggles. Maternal sculpture. It's it actually has rubber qualities to it. That's neat. So we'll need blues. Thankfully, I haven't gotten rid of any of them. You know what? Let's get whites first. I'd I'd rather clear these out and not have to worry about them. Okay, so that's down. And these will follow suit. And then there are just two enemies. Do I even need to defeat the enemies? Nothing here. I don't think I even need to defeat anyone. Please don't fall in the drink. Yeah, I don't need to defeat anyone. That's weird. I mean, it's cool because I don't, you know, I don't have to bother, but it's bad because you want, you don't want people just breezing by floors. There should be a purpose to fighting the enemies. That's weird. Huh. Alright, I'm fine with not, with 
uh, not having to fight a careening dirige bug. Those things are annoying. 85 for the wiggle, <laughs> the wiggle noggin. Oh, the wiggle noggin. Who doesn't love a good wiggle noggin? After, after their their steak. I know I do. All right, next floor. <laughs> On wi on the note of wiggle noggins, which sounds like a Harry Potter thing, we're heading to the next floor. Now this is the last floor I was talking about. I could have sworn that this cave was only nine sub-levels sub long, but it was not. It, it is ten. Alright, so this is an enemy- actually, most of the enemies in this area are fairly blind for me. Because at a certain point, when I couldn't defeat the final boss, I, uh, I quit playing the game. Or rather, I went back to all of the old caves to farm up purples. But, now I'm, I'm, I'm back. In fact, I don't even remember this guy's name, so I, let me look that up real quick. Okay, I've looked it up, and now, what is that sound? Is it that? I'm trying to think of what that metallic noise is. Is it the boss? I think it's the boss. Can I even see the boss? No. Alright, so this is an enemy I have never really faced that many times, so this is gonna be a bit weird. Get all the enemy- uh, all the Pikmin into a corner. And jump in. Where is he? There he is! Alright, so this is the Segmented Robster. A weird enemy. Really weird. He rolls up into a ball and will try to attack me by squishing my Pikmin. Much like a cannon beetle larva. And I have to lead him into a wall. So let's lead him up here. Need to be careful because boulders fall from the sky. And then it will expose his underbelly. Which is rainbow and beautiful. It really... Oh, does that kill Pikmin? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That poor... That poor red Pikmin. He will live on in our hearts. Oh, that was close. Come on. Get out of the way so I can whistle him quickly. Hey, buddy. He's down to half health. So this is a little bit easier than I thought. Get out of the way. The boulders are really concerning. Throw Pikmin on him. He's really beautiful like this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Purples, purples, purples. I need you. I need you. I need you. You get out of the... No, he's dead. Poor guy. Get out of the way. Oh, he's... I won't be able to get many hits on him here. If any. Oh, does he really just have that one attack? Run at right angles. Yes. Oh man, that is hard to hard to avoid. And he's really hard to actually get in and hit because he has some built-in protection with his his uh, boulders. Okay, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. He actually does have another attack. I'm just staying out of his range. There he comes. Oh, that was bad. And throw Pikmin on him. I don't want to freeze him. I don't want to freeze him. Will I be able to kill him? No. Oh, boy. No, no, no. Get up. Oh, the president's about to die. The president's about to die. No. Hit. The wall. What was that? What was that? That that was complete garbage. I need to I need to get I need to get in. I need to get in. I need to get in. Whoa. Uh I could go to kill him, but I don't have I don't have the 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 courage for that. Instead. Let's switch captains because Olimar is ex or the president is about to die. But that was complete and utter garbage. He was right up against a wall. He should have been hit. How many purples do I have left? I have 14. I lost a lot of them. But for some reason... 
Oh man, he's so much harder to avoid now in the later phase. Get out of the way. Finish him off. Finish him off. Yes. Whew. That was garbage. That was dumb. I was... He was rolling up against the wall. And for some reason, he didn't actually butt up against it. Ugh, that, that's, not a, that's not a good feeling to be leaving a cave with. Especially when that thing's staring at us. Ugh. Uh, it has eyes and it's blinking. Why? Why is it blinking? <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right, so the segmented crobster, one of the hard bosses of the game, even though he really wasn't all that difficult. He just was a little bit janky there at the end. All right, this creepy thing is headed in. I don't even remember if this gives us anything. Right, maybe we'll find out. Ugh, except nightmares. I mean, it's giving us nightmares. It's also worth a lot. The silencer worth 670 pokos in the Japanese version is worth 666 and it's the silencer and it gives us nothing first cave we've encountered thus far with no upgrade but that's going to be the status quo from here on out I mean kind of there's there's still three caves left that'll give us upgrades but at least three all right let's get I, I could have used sprays in that fight too but I I really wouldn't have lost how many would I have lost if that, if that, I guess I could call it a glitch, if that dumb thing hadn't happened? Future Pal, on screen. Because that was dumb. Alright, let's leave. We got a lot done. One of the six caves left in the game have been cleared out. Rather handily, I might say. Wow. Two thousand Pocos. You can you can really see see the difference between a cave post debt con completion and a cave pre debt completion, because they would never have given us a cave worth that much before, because that's twenty percent of our goal. But now that we have completed it, the caves can be much longer, much more difficult, and much more rewarding than they were before. And on that note, let's go back to the service where we formerly had, I believe, eight seconds left on our our day. And I believe it warps us right back to the nighttime call. We'll see. In fact, maybe I, I, we, I can get to... Uh... Oh, we do indeed have eight seconds left. So one of the things I always found a bit odd about the end of the day in The Wistful Wild is that the, in the background, you can actually hear crows cawing. Really weird, considering we've never seen any animals from modern day life here. You can hear both birds and crows. I mean, I, it doesn't have to be crows making no the noise, but it's the same noise, which is a bit odd. It also kind of gives you a sense of, of uh, it gives you a bad omen. If you consider how big a crow would be to Olimar and the president, it would be the size of one of the bigger bosses we've faced thus far. And it would be able to fly, and ugh, it would not be good. Alright, now that I've taught you how to make explosions, I've exploded. I've been exploded by enemies. Let's... Let's look at the totals. 2.1k. We've lost... I guess we gained more Pikmin than we lost. Oh, wow. We had a net loss on blues and on yellows. But I, I guess part of that is the, the loss or, or the, uh, the gain of purples and whites. And our numbers of purples went down by 9. And remember, we need 100 purples in order to complete the game. So, ugh, more farming to do. Hooray. Louie, we suddenly stopped hearing from you. Everything okay? If things get tough, you can always come home. All stuck up on those pick-pick carrots you love. Is that... Who even is that? Is that 
his aunt? I, I have no clue. She has a mustache, or it has a mustache, whatever it is. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you l would like it. Tomorrow, we're probably going to be heading into another cave, uh, which would be the Hole of Heroes. And then after that, there are actually going to be some big changes coming to the adventure as we wrap things up. We have four caves left, and three of those are in different areas. Or I guess we have, we have five caves left. Yeah. So after tomorrow, and after tomorrow's cave, the Let's Play is going to hit endgame, for sure. While we are just barely halfway through, we're still, we'll, we're still wrapping things up. So, join me tomorrow, where we do just that. Oh, uh, I release new episodes of Pikmin 2 every Tuesday and, sa and Thursday. I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild, which I'm also Let's Playing right now. It's been a blast, and it's only getting better as I play it more. I'm releasing new, new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. Join me later. See ya! Whoa, 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 boss! Oh, it's a boss. This is what I get for exploring, guys. I get to fight a boss. Run, heart, please. Stalnok! The only, the only evidence that these areas used to be something resembling a, an ancient society are your memories of them. Just a couple, a couple cues every now and then. Uh, my favorite track is in...